Hey guys, it's uh, Dark Architect 18 back here with another YouTube video, and today we're going to be doing the Ohotnik uh, Tier 4 Premium Destroyer for the Russians. Uh, we're going to do the uh, Commander, then the Mods, then the Armor Viewer, break down the stats, and then we'll do the gameplay. Uh, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and uh, we will be breaking it down for the Ohotnik and making sure you guys can actually um, run it properly. So, Also one other thing to note is the um, Ohotnik is a gunboat overall and it plays exclusively just as that so keep in mind that's the one thing you gotta I wanted to throw out there before we get into the com commander. Okay, so uh, we got Vladimir Trubetskoy up on the screen. We got uh, Observant Rage, Look at Me Now. Then we have uh, Playing With Fire, Smoke on Water, and Unstoppable. Then we have Inspirations of Eric Bay and uh, also William Sims. So we have a uh, Concealment, Health, and a Gunboat Focused Build. That's very critical to note. And we also have that Legendary Skill to prevent uh, our rudder from getting knocked out. So our modifications, we got aiming systems mod one, then our stats to survivability rating of 19. We got uh, hit points of 14,220, armor six to 16 millimeters, artillery, we have seven by 130 millimeter, 10.2 kilometer firing range, 9.2 second reload time, 32.7 second 180 degree turning time. Uh, 1330 max HP shell damage, 14% fire setting chance, and 2500 max AP shell damage. Then for the torpedoes, we have a 28 rating. Uh, and then we have 4x3, 450 millimeters, 47 second reload time, 6 second 180 degree turn time, 13,667 maximum damage for the torps, 1 kilometer torpedo detectability range by C, 4.5 kilometers to torpedo range and 62 knot torp speed slow torps and slow or um not as far distance for the torps uh so for the a defense we got a seven rating we got four by one 7.62 millimeter uh seven average damage or no two average damage per second one kilometer firing range two by one 76.2 uh, millimeter uh, that's three kilometers and three average damage per second maneuverability you got a 75 rating 34.5 knot max speed 730 meter turning circle radius 3.5 second rudder shift time concealment we have a 98 rating 5.4 kilometer detectability range by C 10.2 kilometer detectability after firing a main gun 7.4 kilometers detectability when ship is on fire 3 kilometers detectability range by air 5.6 kilometers detectability after firing a main gun 6 kilometers one ship is on fire, two kilometers guaranteed detectability range, and uh, 2.4 kilometers detectability while firing in smoke. So here is the armor viewer. So uh, it has six to uh, 14 and uh, I also wanted to note that the armor for the Ohadnik um, was a little bit more around the uh, smokestack area um i didn't quite complete that but um this is going to be actually a pretty good battle we have here so ohotnik biggest takeaway lots of guns uh very quick good turning circle radius uh excellent uh detectability and it's got some speed boost too so it can be quick as well so you do not want to pick a um match with this little devil for sure is this uh oh hot nick is just crazy good um so we're gonna be moving up right now um and my other two buddies and a destroyer the other guys in a oh hot nick and uh i don't remember the other one but uh it's gonna be a good battle um it's truly going to show you that what can be done in the Ohatnik, or as I call it, the war canoe, because it it's literally a canoe with guns strapped along the backside, and there's 
seven by one 130 millimeters. They're, they are big guns, and there's a lot of them. The Russians are known for that. They just anyone opposes them, they just they, they're just going to slap guns on there, and they're be like, "Okay, we good. We're going into battle." Um, I think this division was a full Ohotnik division. I believe is we're just kind of like messing around in standard. So uh, I'm going to shoot torps towards the center. Uh, we got a enemy coming up. Also, D is being captured by the enemies. So um, most of my team moved up towards A. Um, they're trying to contest that, and they're doing a pretty good job of that so far. Um, the rest of my team off to the south of me is moving up, but they, they got some work to do, basically, and some enemies to take down. I'm going to be coming around this curve. I'm kind of expecting him, this destroyer, so that's exactly what I was expecting. My torps around that first, uh, towards the center at the beginning, when I salvoed, um, didn't quite hit. So that was kind of unfortunate, but anyways, we're going to take another shot at this, and we're going to hope to get him. So I'm going to do narrow there, and I'm going to do wide there. So I spread them out a little bit. So that they go a little bit further into the, um, well they don't go further in, but they they have more spread. So I have a narrow spread and a wide spread. And you're going to see exactly why, how effective this was. Because he's in the smoke screen. That destroyer is in the smoke screen. And he is going to just not favor well. There he goes. Devastating strike. Um, we got him. One, one torpit, one flood, and one kill. 10,440 damage, devastating strike on the uh, Jin, Jin Wei. Um, I'm probably butchering that, butchering that name, but that's how I can pronounce it, at least English, from an English standpoint. Um, so we got the Konigsberg. Uh, that was a uh, bummer. I thought I was going to kind of get that, but... Uh, no worries. We're going to try to get this uh, Farragut. Uh, Farragut's definitely a gunboat. Um, he's, if you're a competent Farragut player, you can easily take out um, Noah Hotnik. Um, but if you are, you know exactly what you're doing in the hot, oh, Hotnik or the War Canoe, you're just going to roll up to the side of him and you're going to ambush him with your guns and your torps. Is you got 4.5 kilometer. Uh, torps on the uh, Ohotnik, and that's exactly what I'm doing with this Gangit. I'm going to spread out this. I'm going to torp um, a little bit ahead and a little bit behind because I'm assuming he's moving up, and he is. And we got the smoke going off, speeding up so he doesn't shoot me again. Uh, very well done. So we got a torp spread going in there. We got uh, like two torp hits, two floods, not bad, and, and incapacitation. We're going to go after this Farragut next. Um, that is the goal. We're going to turn around. If your turret speed isn't that good, which it isn't on the, the Ohotnik, I I would suggest turning your whole ship because your guns are turned to one way, either uh, left or right. So you have to keep in mind that that is the way to do it, is to turn the whole ship instead of your guns, waiting for your guns. If they're too slow. you got to make them count. So a walkie just hit me hard. I'm going to send torps right there. Uh, gang gets right up uh, behind me. I'm going to try to move just to get out of his um, kind of, not range, but kind of just keep moving so that he doesn't hit me. I'm going to keep shooting this uh, Iwaki. We're up to 34k. We are up to two kills and a devastating strike so far. So excellent. And just sit it out him there again. Um, not going to get him with the torps, but we should get him with the AP here, um, considering that. And we double Citadel him, and we're up to three kills already in the uh, first, uh, what is it, like six minutes of the battle? That's not bad um, at all. So I'm going to back up. You got torps right there. I'm going to capture this base at A. Both of my buddies died in the destroyer. Um, I'm pretty sure both of them were in... The Ohotnik, I think that was uh, Dragosani and uh, War Canoe, I believe. 
or it was Hydra, but actually one of my buddies changed his name to War Canoe because he found this battle so inspirational and he needed some other name. I was like, why not call it War Canoe? You know, as simple as that. So, uh, so he changed it. Um, and I actually kind of feel kind of privileged to have, uh, kind of guided his name like that. Um, for sure. Um, definitely didn't expect that. So that's the biggest kind of, uh, story, I guess, or takeaway from this game is I, I changed somebody's name, um, or influenced them to change their name to work new. So, um, and this battle is going to keep getting more spicy as it goes on. Um, it was insane, like how it ended. We're up to 50k damage. We are contesting the, uh, I think, uh, C cap, and we're just going to keep firing at this Podvoski. Um, I'm not going to get him there, unfortunately, because the Kaiser takes him, I believe. So we got the Conan right there. We got the uh, um, another battleship there too as well. He's going to be spotted in a second. So um, yeah, uh, the Ohotnik overall it has a um, 9.2 second reload. So it's kind of long. Uh, the turret traverse isn't the best. The fire chance is 14%. It's excellent. I have that same kind of fire chance on the Tashkent and on my Kabarosk. It is deadly. It will light you up on fire. It's not like 25% like a Tago, where it's every every chance, but it's like almost every other or every three shot three salvos, you're going to get a fire on someone. So um, we got Torps going off after this battleship on the... Uh, that's further away that I was just looking at. Uh, Koenig is going back. Um, and yeah, we got the... Uh, it's pretty close on points. We're 180 points. Oh, I guess 200 points off. So we're spotted by the aircraft carrier, so that's a big no. Um, we got to get out of here. I'm sending Torps up that way because I'm expecting that uh, battleship to back up or come around that corner which that's a pretty good telltale sign if uh, I'm getting spotted by an aircraft carrier that the other guy is going to probably go after me um, and that's pretty reasonable response um, considering anyone does that like if you spot somebody else um, you're going to try to get the kill if you're alive so um, I'm try trying to wiggle left and right um, trying to throw off this aircraft carrier so he doesn't bomb me. Um, we are now in the smoke, so we are like safe for now, partially, as long as he doesn't torp us through the smoke screen. Um, we are capping the base. We got almost three caps. I'm going to shoot some torps again because I have no clue where he is. I'm expecting him a tr charging up on me, charging my smoke screen. Is Battleships do that sometimes. They just charge smoke screens. And there's the Koenig, so... Um, I guess technically, I think that there was two Koenigs left and just an aircraft carrier, but, um, anyway, he's going to go down and we're going to show you how this, uh, fire chance works with these, uh, guns. It's just nuts. So we got a fire there. We are just loading it up on citadels. We got three citadels. We got five fires. We got three torpids, three floods, uh, two kills or two kills, I think maybe three. Um, and then three incapacitations and, uh, four defense and defense caps and actually two caps, two caps and the defense are going to get me major XP and the spotting. So, um, uh, actually I don't have any spots. So, uh, we're sitting at a two kilometer, uh, tech ability in smoke. So that's one of the stats from the, um, the ship itself. So it's very critical to know that. And it changed to 5.6 now that I'm out of smoke. And it changed to 10.2 while at firing. So it shows the little gun sign when it's uh, you're firing at someone right next to the eye or next to the numbers up there on the left um, by the map. So top right corner, a little bit to the right of the map on the screen. Um, so the 
Care just took out my rudder right there. I'm switched that off. So that offset that and the Koenig is still burning. We're going to go after this uh, aircraft carrier. Um, and overall, the turning circle radius isn't the best on this, but the rudder ship time, I have 3.6, so it's awesome. It is really good. So we got a Devastating Strike, an Arsonist, and a High Caliber already in a Tier 4 match, and we got 4 kills. Are we going to get the Kraken? I, in this game, at the beginning of the battle, I was like, I'm calling it. I'm getting a Kraken. I am going to get a Kraken in this game, and you're, you're going to see it. This is this is the guy that I'm gonna get for the Kraken, um, and you're gonna see how he goes down. He's gonna go down like brutally, like I brutally take him down. So um, keep that in mind. Um, I'm just shooting HE at him, trying to whittle him down. We're up to 77k. Uh, really. Really appreciate everyone stopping by, um, tuning in the video. If you like the what I'm doing with my uh, content for World of Warships Legends, consider liking and subscribing. It helps me with the YouTube algorithm and uh, really helps me get my video out there and helps me grow my channel. Um, it, it's the little things like that. It it means a lot to, um, to me considering I put hours upon hours into this making these videos it takes me sometimes like four to six hours sometimes to put put out videos um that can be between one or two videos so it's crazy it it, it means the world to me um it, it just shows that it's paying off because it, it keeps going up so um i just really appreciate it it Sometimes I'm just even at a loss for words for it. We're up to eight citadels. We just got a uh, arsonist, and we have, I believe, a wither. Um, so we are just like knocking it out of the park. Um, this last kind of part was kind of frustrating right here. I didn't quite get the shots. The shots go over. Shots bounce. Shots don't really do much right there, but they're still kind of doing stuff. And uh, I was like, what? What? Really? Can I get it? Can I get the Kraken? Come on. We get the Kraken as I predicted in the beginning of this battle. So I, I'm i just really happy. I'm enthusiastic. This is the War Canoe Ambush. It is. Truly. So make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And uh, leave a comment down below telling me what you think of the Ohotnik. Um definitely appreciate any of those conversations and uh yeah just strike it up in the comment comments and uh, i will reply as quick as i can um so i'm feeling great here we got we're up 50 points now it's a 2v1 we literally were down 300 points like five and a half minutes ago at least it's nuts this was the War Canoe Ambush, and it was a great comeback. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Dark Architect 18. I'm out. So just another random clip I have, but I just wanted to say thanks to everyone for dropping by. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it. And... Uh, yeah, we got more coming all the time, so stay tuned and enjoy the ride.